Saturday morning. Here I am. Ain't no weed today. Boom. Here I am today. Alright, I have six properties, seven properties, and it's about eight hours of work, like work work, like rock and rolling work, like I don't slow down and breathe work. So, I'm ready, I'm ready to do it, I'm motivated, I knew it was coming, so as long as I know what's going on, you can always get mentally prepared. We'll see how this day works out. And uh, maybe you'll get some weed eating footage of me. Like, weed eating footage. Not just hacking and whacking stuff, but crispy. crispy. Because I know one thing anytime I have helpers, anytime I have helpers, doesn't matter how good they are, anytime I go through and weed eat after. My helpers have been weed eating for weeks. Ah, man. A lot of stuff needs to be done. There's always a lot of little detail stuff that needs to be done with a weed eater. Because believe it or not, your grass, as long as it's cut and nice and clean, people are going to be happy. The weed eating is the detail work that really just makes these properties bling, like they should. So I don't know how easy it is for me to get weed eating footage of myself solo without looking weird with cameras set up. I'm not trying to set cameras up everywhere. That's why I hold it in my hand. Okay. So I'll do my best like I always try. And let's roll this out, man. Let's roll this Saturday out. See what we can learn. See what we come into. I'll check back in. It is highly recommended that you have some kind of weight on the front of this deck when you're mowing extreme inclines. We all know going sideways on extreme banks over and over again usually causes ruts. This property, it holds up pretty good. We have no ruts going on, no sliding on this hillside. And yeah, I can go up and down on the whole thing also if I want to. Just a little bit more challenging to have any stripe pattern on it. So yeah, be careful boys. Have some weight on the front of that thing. All right boys, so the key to moving these slopes like that, you gotta stay on the right angle. If that weight distribution Slips you downhill at all. Say goodbye in the woods. So, so you gotta keep that weight distribution right on that hillside. In front of that mower goes sideways in the wrong direction, you're gone. Double cut both of them. And uh get ready to get the weed on. So yeah. I don't know what kind of footage I'll get. Weed eating. When I'm talking about elite landscape style, it's crispy edges crispy crispy tight edges walking forward rolling it out going back around with the flatten kicking all that grass out away from the beds ain't no but a thing boys 
there's some real speed. Just grab it and walk. That's all it is. You gotta get in your head, you're just walking around the property once. You have to be holding a 20 pound object, spinning at 500 miles an hour. <laughs> spitting bullets at you. Spitting bullets at windows. Spitting bullets at pedestrians. Nah, it's easy stuff, man. Because <laughs> we need the stuff to, you know, nothing to it, right? Right? Shh. Anyways, this edge here at Wiregrass. Thick, thick wire grass growing into it. If you don't hit that edge hard every week, that wire grass will take over that bed. Boys been slacking. I tighten it up. No biggie. This one's always fun too. A little flattening action on the side of a steep bank. No one wants to get a push mower out and do this. No, no, no. We did the push mower one thing once on this hill. Never again will I put anybody through that misery. <laughs> Just knocking it out, man. Knocking it out. You know what I think? Love of life. Boys, if your ambitions didn't take you where you wanted to go in life, that ain't nothing, man. If you're an athlete and you didn't get into that college that you were trying to get into and play ball, man, you better grab yourself some tools. Come in here and make some mad money. You've already got what it takes. You've got the strength, the endurance. You've got that rhythm, that rhythm, that rhythm. Yes, sir. Find that rhythm, make that money. There are no dead ends in life, boys. You just gotta find that path. And if that path stops, find a different path. And if that path stops, find a different path. Never give up. Seven minutes. Not bad, seven minutes. Oh man, look how tight that is. Nice steep bank covered in green grass. Tight, just like a mower did it. It's 12.06, so uh, all the weeding's done both places. Mowing's done both places. I'm gonna blow and uh, show you those weeding skills on the edges. Crispy edges. They were out of whack. Told you they'd be out of whack. I had to grind that one over there pretty hard. Oh well. Look at those stripes. Crispy edges. All the weeds got pulled. Tighten this place up today. For sure. Now, check out the hardscaping on this house. You know who did this stuff. No, not me. Not Elite Landscapes. This is a product of my boy that does my hardscaping for me. They designed, installed, pimped this place out. Different color textures just look awesome. These boulders. Haha, <laughs> yeah, he knows what he's doing. That's why I partner up with him. Well, I don't have time or the expertise to handle situations. That man is a genius and a hard worker. Look at all this stuff in the back that he built. The different colors, the different plants. Just unbelievable. Yes sir, that's why I team up with him. He can definitely be partnership with Elite Landscapes. With that work. Perfection. The striping perfection. The crispy edging perfection. The hardscape perfection. I just don't know, man. I love this stuff so much, man. We even edged the AC units. <laughs> Detail. Everything's detailed. Everything is detailed to the hilt. If you find some flaws, please comment below. Let me know. Let me know the flaws. I'll fix them next week. <laughs> I ain't scared. rocking it out man got that mindset 
don't stop. It's gonna be a long day. Blowing these curb lines. If there's no leaves or any mess in there, just blow it right back up in there. No harm done. Do not blow them in the beds. You stop and you go back. And then you just tuck them back in the grass. You don't want to blow grass in your beds. It turns all yucky and brown. That's right. Don't blow that grass in the neighbor's property either. Come down the proper line, blow it back into your property. It's just proper etiquette. Pick up that trash, put it in your pocket. It don't matter if it's small, pick it up. Got that tree ring redefined a little bit. Look. You gotta go around and blow all surfaces. If you made messes, you're blowing all the surfaces. Blowing that wall top off. Blow this little AC pad off. That's that hill I was on. Look, when I edge, I edge the walls here. Keep it nice and clean off there. Here's the bed I tightened up. Gonna have a little extra clean up here. Got some uh, spill out of the mulch when I was weed eating. But, tighten it up. This tree ring was horrible. Oh, it was bad. But, that's alright. Reestablished. Yeah, we've done a lot of work here. This house had a huge tree in the front of it. You couldn't even see the house. Took it out. Laid the sod right here on the edge of the driveway. So yeah. This property's coming along nice. Golden mops really do bling in that yellow, don't they? Ha! Did you see a little baby red tree? That's a regrowth of the big one we took down. I'm going to leave him. He's pretty cool looking right there. Ha! I'll keep him nice and small. Alright. Knocked that out. Did uh, both places in about an hour and 15 minutes. And I was messing around with you guys and moving the phone and camera. Whatever. But I will say this. The weed eating wasn't bad for my guys the last couple of weeks uh, without me hitting them. But... I definitely laid down some extra crispy edge on it because the purpose of an edge <laughs> is to keep the mulch in and not spill out into the grass. And number one, if you just hit that edge hard every week, you'll still have an edge next year. And it won't be half as hard to uh, spade edge or whatever you use. Get that definition back. So. That's number one. Number two, if you edge beds and get a nice you know, two, three inch straight up and down the edge and then fill it all with mulch, why'd you edge it? Why did you edge the bed if you filled the edge with mulch level with the ground? No. <laughs> so, went ahead and hit that hard today and uh, got it reshaped. Uh, especially down that house down there. The uh, front bell is pretty bad, but got it all tight, taken care of. A little bit of a mess to clean up, but we did it. So. That's where my downtown route is. This is where we are. I love this place. Um, probably my third year in business. We were able to do a complete design and install for the landscaping here. Absolutely love this account. Um, this pompous grass right there, that whole bed right there, mm, just love it. All right, let's go make this place beautiful. Let's do it. These uh, sedums here are bloomed out beautiful. This bed blooms different times, different seasons. We already cut back the peonies. We got the knockout roses that are not very healthy. The holly in the middle, 
with the green mountain boxwoods on the sides. These are Justin Bauer boxwoods with the Nandinas and the blue spruce in the middle. The Pyracantha with the berries. The Weeping Blue Atlas. Mm, Justin Bauer boxwoods on the bottom. Ooh, there was a blooming camellia right there. That little one right, right below where I'm messing with. That's a blooming camellia. It'll bloom out in the winter time. It's beautiful. I think that's a Euonibus. I think that's a Euonibus. I don't know. Got the climbing hydrangea on the walls. The uh, owl junipers that are blue with blueberries. But this weeping atlas. Love this thing. It'll go up the chimney eventually. I'll train it. I'm training it now. These pompous grass, two of them died out completely. I took the one that survived, divided it into thirds, replanted them, and that's what happened. They came out just amazing this year. I wasn't sure what the results were going to be, but plants are just, I don't know, the two died for no reason, and then that one just came back and thrived. So yeah, I had to hit the edge here, around the corner, blow that wall pretty hard because there's a skunk that's digging around in there spilling on the mulch out there was like no edge at all there you'll see that here soon my new strike pattern I laid down ha <laughs> alright so whatever weed eating I captured on camera there was some in the back I'll show you that when I blow uh, that was 11 minutes from the time I set the camera up grabbed a weed eater out the truck started up and started weed eating so, see what it looks like. Was I scamping just for speed? I don't think so. Check it out. I think that crepe myrtle behind me. I think that's a Tuskegee. I believe so. I think that's a Tuskegee. Here we go. Oh, look at this edge real quick where no one even looks. Just wait ahead to pop it. Yeah, you can see where their edge is. That's where my edge starts. The 131R is a little bit heavier, but not much. If you're used to carrying a weed around, I just like extra power when I need it, because obviously where I live and these properties are overgrown stuff around the corner. Here we go. So it covers the manicured stuff and it covers the overgrown stuff. So let's go blow this place off. The blow is ready. As I said before, and you've been watching this video, I blow everything. I clean up everything, all the edges of the beds, because if you weed eat it, it's gonna have some some grass spray in it. So you gotta take the time to clean these places up. If you go three or four weeks without doing this, all that nice, beautiful brown mulch will end up crazy looking, ugly. Look at that ugly stuff. That little skunk is just doing a number right there. And if I didn't clean that up, that'd be a big dead spot. And then the bed would be all out of whack on its shape. Gotta take the time to detail these places out. And no, you don't charge extra for stuff like that. That's just part of you being perfect. Like those edges right there. <laughs> Yeah, we just did all this mulching around this back patio this past spring. It was all dirt and, you know, just weedy grass and stuff like that. They were having issues with washout, with mud, and yeah, that turned out nice. Here's a section that usually gets push mode. Yeah, my weed eating skills just knocked that out. I did not have to take that push mower out of the back of the truck. Look how tight that is, man. Nice and clean. 
Gotta blow everything, man. Uh-oh. Dead tree. I'd take care of that. We don't want to fall on the porch. We gotta do that pretty quick. Ah, uh, the fall mums. Nah, that's when I know fall's coming. Those mums start blooming. Again, those came out of a planter. And after their time in the planter, just put them in the yard, they come back. The mums come back. They're not annuals, they're perennials. The front of this house has Nandinas. That purple stuff is Jugula. Got the Justin Bauer boxwoods right there in the front for the hedge. Got some awesome ferns out there. Ha! <laughs> Tell you what, man. The blue, the green, the red from the Weeping Jap maples. I mean, the spirals. This probably really turned out nice, man. And she takes good care of it, as you can tell by the planters at the front door. Look at that weeping atlas. Yeah. Love it out here. Totally, totally love doing this stuff. Blow everything. Blow it all. Make it all beautiful. If you skimp, you'll see. Hopefully the clients don't see it and fire you. But if you're skimping, you'll see it. Because your places won't look like this. Take the time and the effort to make everything perfect. Look at those edges. So, yep, don't blow in the bed. Blow it back in the grass. Disperse it a little bit. What a day. What a property. So guys, did you enjoy that property? All the different plants and everything? Man, I really do just love going to that place and taking care of it. It's, uh... And they're close friends. I've coached their sons in soccer for years and years. And uh, <laughs> excellent family. I love them very much. I've known them for like 11 years probably. I've known them family for 11 years. So, yeah. Good stuff. Friends and family. Got the mansions next with all the beautiful grass and the beautiful plants and flowers and views. So stay tuned. Watch me tackle that thing by myself today. <laughs> Knocking it out, man. Knocking it out. <laughs> stay strong. Alright boys, I'm here. That down there is the very bottom of the entrance. Where we came in where that wall is. And uh yeah. This is what I'm gonna do today. Maybe not that much weed eating today. That would make me happy. Still gonna have to hit stuff, but I'll know how much when I roll through and know everything. So, uh, yeah. This is where I eat lunch. Right here. The view behind me. The view beside me. And the views over there. 
Not a bad lunch spot, right? <laughs> Alright, well. Lunch time's over. I think it's maybe 3.30. Something like that. Took my time today. But, uh, time to rock and roll, boys. Rock this out. Oh. The Skag Turf Tiger 2. Still running strong for me. Eating a lot of grass. Making all that cash. Yeah. These places here, boys. Look. I'm a solo operator. I started cutting these things with a 48 inch walk behind. Belt driven. A brand name called World Lawn Mowers. <laughs> I found it on the display up in Richmond, Virginia for like $2,400. My pops gave me a loan and that was my first mower when I started my business. So as a solo operator, all these bushes you're looking at, all these perennials, everything here, I've been doing this stuff. Not always with helpers. <laughs> not always in a good mood but it's all me and it really is no joke it's a lot of area to cover tons of mulch beds thousands and thousands of shrubs and plants and trees and it's my responsibility to keep these places looking nice and up to par now when I started out I would spend the entire day up here and go through the whole place because I had time and that generated extra money for me. Now I'm squeezing these things in on Friday showing up at 3 o'clock. <laughs> That's how my schedule is now. I show up at 3 p.m. on Fridays to do this. But guess what? I've been out here a couple weekends on Saturdays, like today. All right. It's 4.30. Got all his yards cut. Got one, two, the three mansions mowed. I've got the big field and then the back of the castle. And in the entrance. So yeah. Take a little break. Well, I'm gonna drive up here and show you what the weed eating looks like before I weed eat. And uh, y'all can comment below if you guys would weed eat today. Or wait till next week when the whole crew was here and then detail everything out. Yeah, let me know. We're gonna wrap and look. Alright, so I have not weeded this stuff yet. The edges on the concrete look good. The edges on the pavers look good. Paper edges only hit every other visit, if that. Uh, you don't want to burn those up. It looks good with grass coming straight to the paver. That bed needs it for sure. So, the conclusion for that property was <laughs> the beds definitely needed to be hit, but no concrete, which is a good thing. Now, the back of this castle property, this is always water. Always. Uh, for as long as I've been out here, there's always been irrigation issues from the top section above this wall to where it leaks out all over the place down here um, so I've weeded this entire area back there plenty of times <laughs> uh, so irrigation issues there's a head there's a head there's a head all soaked with water look at that the homeowner knows all about it. He's a contractor. And these issues, once this stuff's buried underground, it's 
it's not the easiest to fix and conquer. I am not an irrigation specialist. So, I called the guy that I used in the past that does some of my properties. He's booked up. I called two other people. They're booked up. Hmm. So what to do now? Hmm. Maybe irrigation repairs and blowouts is a good thing to offer for next season or maybe four years in the future yeah maybe in the future so my client here is going to teach me the basics of irrigation over the winter time we're going to do his property total renovation get this system up to par to where it's not leaking anymore and that's where my knowledge is going to come from and uh yeah by the time i turn 50 and I don't want to be running around with weeds or 100 miles an hour for 15 miles a day. Maybe I can roll around in a little truck. Well, a beautiful truck. And blow out irrigation systems and do repairs. Easy to do if you're an older gentleman looking to get into this kind of work. Irrigation repairs. You don't have to install them. That's hard labor for young people. Just go around and pimp them out. Perfect for older gentlemen to make good, good money. So yeah, I laid a new stripe pattern in this property today. Turned out pretty good. Happy with it. There's a little section down here. It's shaded near the pond that we cleaned up. A couple videos back, we did a complete pond cleaned up. <laughs> of all the weeds, that was on the uh, Chaos Castle video. That was intense, man. So... When I pulled up today, I just hoped and I prayed that I would get this footage that I'm fixing to show you because I saw them the last time I was up here. And, uh, ha, yes! Watch this. I'm not even going to talk, just watch. Alright, I lied, man. Are you kidding me? I can't see that and I say something. <laughs> what? Wait for it. Oh, dude. You think that's cool? Wait for it, man. Yeah, that's just one of the brothers. The other two brothers are right here. These boys are stout. I mean, dude, these boys are stout, man. I was on the mower, and I could hear them running behind me. I turned and looked. I was like, what? I just hoped and prayed it was on the footage, and there it was. <laughs> Telling you, man, I love this life. Totally love it. I don't care how many times I bleed, or sweat hard in the sun, or freeze to death in the wintertime. I do love it, 100%. Because that's the results. Everything is beautiful. Sky Turf Target 2. Huh, I'm a skag man. Ooh, time to weed eat. Weed eat and then blow everything. 6.20. Got about an hour and 40 minutes before it's dark. Should be alright. Good day. A lot of grass. No complaints. Seven oh two. Uh, the uh, the big one on top done. The white one here is done. This entrance part's done. Uh, the front of the castle's done. Um, fixing the head. Down the road and back. And uh, it's a little bit behind that wall at the very bottom where it got wet. So go back there and we eat that wet spot but uh yeah love that seven o'clock rocking one good thing about this entrance i only have to weed eat this place every other week because once i put that edge down at that angle it takes two weeks for it to grow back and look shammy and when it looks shammy then we'll hit it again Everything's got to stay tight. When you're driving down the road, you're not going to see a little bit of layover. 
and this is a lot of walking. Your average guy would not be rolling through this so quickly. I don't mind doing it. It's like a speed. <laughs> yeah, baby. I weed eating eggs faster than everybody you watch. It's all about time, skills, perfection. All right. Perfection comes before speed. But once you hit that speed and perfection, just walk all the way up down the road in less than nine minutes. We needed everything. Yeah. Time to blow. 720. As I'm blowing these properties off, take a look at these edges I laid down. Clean up all the little bitty weeds that grow on the edge. While I roll through forward with that edging, I just hit little bitty weeds. Just nipping it, nipping it. Cleans it all up. I mean, it didn't take a lot of extra time, obviously. But the results are just amazing, you know? Clean it up. Because what are you going to do? Run around and hand pull 10,000 tiny weeds? Nah. When you're weed eating those beds, it didn't take much to just whip, 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 whip into the bed, hit that little weed that shouldn't be there, and make it tight. And then you come back and blow it all out. Leaves, grass clippings, sticks, whatever. Clean his beds up. Make them bling for their clients. Look at that. Mm. It's been a good day so far. I'm extremely pleased with the results. And... I knew from the beginning of the day it was going to be a long day. It doesn't mean I'm going to sham at the end. Dude, that edge? Yeah. You saw it before. It was hairy. And even though I didn't mow up here and I didn't make any messes up here as part of my job, boys, the responsibilities. They don't want to walk into their house with flower petals stuck on their feet tracking on the side. I blow that stuff off for them. It's all about your perfection level. It's how you grow your business. It's how you get high-end clientele. But once you achieve the knowledge and the skills for perfection, go out and advertise. Just use flyers in these huge neighborhoods with these huge mansions. And you know, you'll pick up one or two jobs just to get in the door and show your clients how good you've gotten over all the years of practice you've been putting out here. It's just like a sport, boys. You practice, you practice. <laughs> Eventually, you'll be the best. You'll be that professional guy that everybody talks about. And they spread your name around. Details. Look, that didn't take long. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, man, if you don't know what to do in life and your ambitions didn't take you where you wanted, I mean, look, I could have been a professional soccer player if things went right, but I was young. Choices you make follow you into your adulthood. It doesn't mean you give up. You just find and create your own plan. And this one right here, Anybody who's an athlete, like I said earlier, you can rock this stuff out, barely even feel the pain, and get paid a lot of money for your hard work and efforts. So bottom line, this is a big property, all by myself, and uh, I'm thankful for my helpers this year, for sure. Sometimes the money I spend on help is definitely worth it. Sometimes it's not. I just had to re-pimp all the edges in these places. Like I said, my helpers are good, but they've only been out here for three, four months, full time, learning this stuff that I'm teaching them. And hopefully, next season rolls around, 
we'll go over all these little details that I'm telling you guys on these videos. I talk to these guys about this stuff all the time. They don't want to hear it all the time, but I'm going to say it over and over again until they do it. It's called being a coach, a business owner, someone who cares about results. So, come on boys, do it. Ten minutes to eight. It's time to get some coffee up on the way home. Ah, perfect day. Perfect day. Uh, I knew it was going to take as long to do it. Everything finished right on schedule. And everything went smooth. So, no complaints. Uh, yeah. 420 to... 750. One, two, three mansions. The entrance. Mode, weed, blown. Y'all saw. Y'all saw me come do it. Oh, yeah. Feeling good now. Feeling good. Got the coffee, the booster. Now I have energy to go home, get cleaned up, eat some food, and uh, edit a video, throw it out for you. <laughs> like 8:20 right now. So, good vibes, boys. Good vibes.